Continuing with our trend series, I'm going to be doing the wine makeup look. I'm going to start off light and build up to a more bold look. Something I also want to mention is that trends come and go, but the best part about trends is it gives you an opportunity to play with different makeup looks. That said, let's go ahead and get started. Using the Shantikai Vital Essence, this is great for those of you with redness or who have sensitive skin. Nice, hydrating, lightweight serum. Then I'm going to use the Ule Henriksen Brightening Under Eye Cream. This helps with darkness. Using the Armani Concealer, let's conceal, lift, brighten, and highlight. Adding now the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, I'm going to place that in between the concealer. This is quite the interesting look we have. Let's go ahead and grab the Beauty Blender and we're going to first start out by blending the concealer areas that we place down where it's nice and bright. And then I'll go in and blend in the foundation. As you can see, I'm wiggling my finger back and forth to press and buff and get that concealer nicely placed under the eye area. And here we have our first few steps done. Concealer, foundation, done. I'm going to go ahead now and show you guys two products I have been wanting to play with and I finally am getting around to showing you guys how to wear them and this is a perfect video for it. It is the Tom Ford Cherry Smoke. Have not played with these, have not swatched these. I'm going to use the brushes that come with them because Tom Ford does some of the best little tools when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes. And then I got the lipstick to go with it and this is in the color Velvet Cherry. This is such a stunning color. Look at this. I hope it goes on as rich as it looks in the tube. Oh, gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with these two. So let's get started. Let's swatch and see what these colors look like. Right away, I love that these aren't too red. They have a nice warmth to them, which creates a nice sophisticated look. And don't even get me started on how beautiful this lipstick is. I cannot wait to try it on. These types of red colors can be very tricky, but this is a very sophisticated color story overall. Let's try it on. Grabbing that frosty burgundy color, we're going to place that all over the lower lid, blending it up into that crease. As you can see, I'm extending it out just a bit to create a soft halo look. Then I'm going to go in with that orangey color and place that right underneath the lash line. As you can see, we're starting to shape the eye. Grab the burgundy color and we're going to place that on the outer edge on the lower as well as the upper, but I'm gonna grab the other color as well and mix them together to put that on the upper lash line now. Just creating a bit of a lift out on the outer edge. Grabbing now that orangey raspberry color with my Reefer 05, I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my cheeks as my blush. Working on that outer cheek area and up around the temple. I'm gonna go ahead now and add a little to the nose and the jawline just to create a uniformed color story. And then let's get this beautiful lipstick on. So the texture feels a tiny bit dry, but not in a bad way. It's very pigmented, so think like a demi-matte finish. As it started to warm up onto the lips, it got more creamy. Using now my Makeup Forever Lip Liner, I'm going to go ahead and just deepen the outer edge a little bit, do some shading on the corners to create a nice kind of puckered lip look, and just shape that upper lip area as well. Going back in with the lipstick so that I can blend the two together for a seamless transition. What a stunning color. I'm gonna go ahead now with the Chanel Gloss and a pink color to kind of brighten it just a bit so it doesn't get too dark. And here we have the first lip look. Now say you don't want it this dark. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a softer version. I'm just going ahead and adding a little powder here and then I'm going to use that same color and just stamp it on the lips to create more of a stain. This is a great way to wear a dark color without it being too much. Grabbing that same lipstick, I'm going to add a little bit to the cheeks because we're trying to create color balance here between the lips and the cheeks. And then using the Victoria Beckham Lip Stain, I'm going to add this on top just to deepen it just a bit for those of you that want a little bit more color. And here we have it, second lip look. So as you can see, we tried several different lip looks. And I did this because I wanted to show you guys how you can create balance between the lighter eye and the darker lip or create something that's just soft all the way through and still create that wine-like effect. Now, when it came to the shadows, you can just do this one color or even this one all over the lower lid in just a sheer wash of color. I took it a little further and just added these down here to the lash line and the darker colors to the outer edge just to give a little bit of a lift. But now I'm gonna go in and build up this eye color. And what you're gonna see is, since I have this lip on, what the dark eye looks like compared to a lighter lip and how that keeps it in balance in the opposite direction. Grabbing the darkest matte wine color, we're gonna place that on the outer edge. 
kind of stamping it in there and then flipping it over. There's a nice little brush. We're going to soften it so there's not a hard V line and just extend it outward just a bit. Grabbing now that terracotta orange color, I'm going to go ahead and place it right next to the last color we just placed down. We're overlapping a bit. Using that wine color with a little bit of shimmer, we're going to go right in between the two. Grabbing now the truly shimmery color, we're going to place it on the inner corner of the eye, and then I'm going to wrap it around underneath that lower lash line. Using now that pointy tip applicator, I'm going to work that onto the outer edge and blend it into the center. Using that terracotta color, I'm going to go ahead and place that on the brow ridge. This will help to unify the color story on the lids as well as the cheeks. Grabbing that shimmery raspberry color, I'm going to go ahead and glaze the cheeks ever so softly onto the apple and up around the outer edge. Using now one of my absolute favorite mascaras, the Maybelline Sky High. This is the waterproof version. It's the only version I love. I'm going to go ahead and coat the top lashes as well as the bottom. I want to create a fully bold look, so I'm going to add the lipstick color so that the eyes are dark as well as the lips. We have a full vampy look at this point, but you saw how the lip was lighter, the eyes were darker. So that kind of keeps everything in a nice balance. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this eye, and then we will wrap it up with one last final step. Both eyes done. Cheers to us for creating a wine makeup look. Both sides of the face done. Here's the official wine look. What I like to call just a beautiful winter look. It's also gorgeous in fall, but feel free to wear it year round. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We went over color balance, picking a focal point of where you put your dark and light, or you can just go fully bold and do dark colors all over, which is what we have here. A makeup artist tip, if you decide to go bold on the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips, still find a way to go a little lighter in certain areas. So for instance, the lips are the darkest point on my face and the outer edge. Otherwise, this is pretty light through here, somewhat light, I should say, and the cheeks are a little lighter. So I'm still looking for color balance when it comes to the makeup look, even though the whole look is bold. All right, everyone, I'm gonna leave you here, but if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to reach out to me. As always, if you like what you're seeing here on Shri Voyage, the best way to support the content is to go ahead and subscribe. Use the affiliate links down below for any of your shopping needs. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment, which is my favorite part. And if you haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or Instagram where I do sneak peeks of up and coming newness and a few pro tips. And if you'd like to book me, a professional makeup artist of 25 years for a one-on-one -on -one artistry education lesson, head to shrivoyage.com. Everything is in the description box down below. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. As always, take care of you, take care of one another, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.